Rochelle Lightfoot's Kwanzaa Celebration Special. Today's episode centers around the principle of emoja, meaning unity and how we are to strive for and maintain unity in the family, community, nation, and race. Stay tuned for a thought-provoking poem by Grammy-nominated spoken word artist Rebecca Butterfly Bonds. Then we'll speak with Carlton Hunter with the Progressive Firefighters Association Charity. And later, I will sing Peace on Earth with my Sweet Vibes Trio Band. We'll be right back. Are you looking for a venue for your next special event? Well, Art at the Elks has it all. Enjoy hosting your next conference, workshop, reception, birthday party, trade show, or business meeting at a spacious location within an intimate atmosphere. Boasting over 7,000 square feet of multi-use event spaces, the center also offers six gallery-style studios and five co-working office spaces. It features a separate bar area, prep kitchen, valet parking, and security. The Art of the Elks is located conveniently in the heart of the city at 4949 Northwest 7th Avenue in Miami, Florida. Call to book your facility tour appointment today at 786-520-3980. And we look forward to serving you. Ashe, Ashe, Dr. Molana Karanga. Ashe, Ashe, Dr. Molana Karanga. It's 54 years later since you introduced us to that of Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa, 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 Kwanzaa. But sad and hurt to my heart that it's 54 years later and there are still individuals who are clueless to the celebration of this holiday. And no, it's not a religion. It's not religious. It's the idea that you wanted to let us know and paint a picture of that of Christmas being so commercialized. And that it is. I can imagine the mothers and the fathers who are so angry on the 27th of December, on the 28th of December, or better yet, January 1st, when all of those gifts and those presents that they bought for their little boys and their little girls are now on sale for 50% less off. And so now they're spending their times going back doing the return thing. But at the end of the day, our little boys and our little girls, they need to be taught that Christmas is more than a gift. That Christmas is the idea of exercising kindness. Christmas is the idea of exercising love. Christmas is the idea of realizing that you have life. I love the idea of the seven principles. Seven is my number. Seven is also God's number. Imagine if everyone walked in the midst of their purpose. Imagine if everyone walked in the midst of their purpose. Within the midst of the word purpose lies the word rose, and like a rose has to blossom and bloom, you too must blossom and bloom. U-N-I-T-Y, U-N-I-T-Y, it's a unity. I hear you, Queen Lativa. But unfortunately, when it comes to our community, if you notice, it says, come unity, we are so much divided. Our mothers, we might as well call them the River Jordan for the number of tears that they cry that we cannot see. There goes another one, there goes another one, there goes another one. I'm talking of the gun violence, the senseless killings, cooperative economics. Imagine if we kept our dollars within our own community, bought up the block like the other cultures that keep their money within their own community for 24 hours, even a day, some two days. We can't even keep our own dollars for at least a good hour. I'm constantly hearing support black businesses, support black businesses, support black businesses. Are we really doing it? How did Black Friday really go? I saw it on social media so heavily. I love it. 
is 54 years later. I know what Kwanzaa is. And that no, it is not a religious holiday. It is a cultural holiday. It is a cultural holiday mixed and blended in with the tone of spirituality. But most of all, Kwanzaa is the celebration of life. So we're back with Brother Lau, and you're here to explain all of the symbols of Kwanzaa. So let us know what's going on here on the table. Well, first of all, thank you, Rochelle, for doing this special again. Uh, now families all over the world are going to know about the symbols of Kwanzaa and why it should be celebrated. So first, we give thanks to Malawana Ron Karanga, who in 1966 came up with this concept so that we here in America can be in tune and in touch with our African traditions. Thus, he came up with Kwanzaa, which means first fruits. Uh, my daughter, my oldest daughter's name is Kwanzaa, as a matter of fact. She oh, was my wow. first fruit. She surely All is. Right. Right? And so the symbols, everything has a meaning. And this can be practiced right in the home. Mm -hmm. The candles are significant. We call them muchini, which are on what's called a kanara. This is called a kanara. It holds the seven candles, which represent the seven principles. And so we're gonna get back to these in a minute. So before we get back to these, why is all of this important? Kwanzaa is a family celebration. Mm -hmm. So the family comes together on each of the nights of Kwanzaa to celebrate a particular principle. Now, for example, on the symbols, what we have here, um, it's a mat, we call it mkeka. Mkeka. Yes, and, okay. and the mat, that's our foundation. You know, what, what's the people without a foundation? Right. And um, over here, we have what are called our crops, or mzeo. And the crops, they're to celebrate our harvest from the year. And it's not just the physical harvest. So the family reflects back on what do we gain this year? What do we, what, what do we go through and, and, and what do we glean from this year? And so that's what the crops, or the mzeo, represent. Mm -hmm. Now, these ears of corn, which are called Hindi, they usually represent the number of children in the house. Okay. So obviously in this household, there are three children. We always pay homage to our children and our African traditions. And so along with that, this is another very important Kwanzaa symbol. It's a unity cup, and we call it Kikombe Cha Umoja. Kikombe Cha Umoja. Umoja, right, and this okay. is the unity cup. And every night, you know, um, the family sits around and everybody has something inspirational to say as they pass the cup around and deal with the particular principles. Okay. And the children's favorite part of Kwanzaa, probably adults too, is they get a chance to get what's called Zawadi. And Zawadi is a gift, and it's usually given on the very last night of Kwanzaa, which is the night of Faith Imani, and you give gifts. It's not to replace another holiday, but it's usually handmade gifts, crafts, things that have a meaning to them. And so you can set this up in your own home. And uh, we'll give you a little treat just before we light these, uh, these candles with each of the principles, mm -hmm. is when the family comes together, we're a praying people. And there's a beautiful, beautiful uh, African prayer in okay. Swahili. Right. And we're gonna share it with you. Okay. And so that our, our, our folks in, and who are getting uh, an opportunity to experience this Kwanzaa special, you can practice it for real. So I'm going to say it in Swahili, and then I'm going to say it in English. Okay. So it goes like this. Mungu ibariki Africa, wabariki the ngozi wake. Hikima na amoji na amani, hizi ne ngao tu, Africa na watu wake, hikima na amoja na amani. Hizi ne ngao tu. And that means... God bless Africa and its leaders. Let wisdom, unity, and peace be the shield of Africa and its people, O oh God of all creation. And these principles, they represent us. So Amen. on Kwanzaa, you light the principles. If you have a family, share. One person light on one night, one person light on another. And the first one to light, Rochelle, will be the candle for unity, okay. Umoja, and that will be the one in the middle. So, umoja, umoja, umoja. That's our unity, all right? Now, the way you light the candles in Kwanzaa on the Kanara is you go from the red to the green. So, the second night, which is probably your favorite principle, Kujichagalia, will be right here. All right. 
right. And so on the second night, uh, that candle will be lit. And so now the third principle will come over here, which will be Ujima. And Ujima is cooperative work and responsibility. And so you see, as you go back and forth, you keep building and remembering on these particular principles. Mm -hmm. And that brings us to principle number four, which is Ujama, which is cooperative economics. And so as Kwanzaa is celebrated on the 26th, and then we've gone from the 26th to the 27th to the 28th, and we're still moving forward. Now we have the fifth principle, which will be on the green candle side now, which is Nia which is purpose, Nia. We gotta have a sense of purpose. A beautiful conversation to have with children at Kwanzaa time is what is their purpose in life and, and how can they help their family and their community. And next, we have one of my favorite principles called Kaumba, which deals with creativity. We know we are the most creative people on the planet. No one can doubt that whatsoever, yeah. okay? Yeah. And then, you know, uh, as we get into that final day, that January one day, that's Imani, and that is our faith. And those are the seven principles of Kwanzaa. Those are the meaning of the symbols that we have here. Rochelle, people can practice this in their home, bring their family together, and reconnect us across these waters again. And I will say these words, you can say every day as you introduce the, the principles in Kwanzaa, you give a greeting that says Habaragani. Baragani. And that just means, what's the news? Or you know how we say, what's up? What's up? All so right. on the day of Umoja, the response is Umoja. So Habaragani. Umoja. And every day, that's how we treat each other, how we talk to each other. And we hope you have a blessed Kwanzaa season. Well, Brother Lao Muhammad, thank you so much for coming in and sharing this with us and giving us some information and some education about the symbols of Kwanzaa. Have a wonderful holiday season with your family. And thank, thank you, you so much again for joining us. My honor and pleasure. We'll be right back, everyone. Are you not sure what to wear to your next business meeting, conference, interview, or that special event? Then call Christy Gray's Chambers, your wardrobe and lifestyle specialist and founder of I Am She. Yes, Christy has it covered. Specializing in virtual consultations, styling for day-to-day -day and special occasions, closet audits, and so much more. Be sure to tune in to Christy's monthly show, Fashion Politically Speaking, on NBC's Six in the Mix. To schedule an appointment, visit her website, imchic.net. That's imchic.net. Sit back, relax, and know that Christie has it covered. Good evening, everyone. This is day one of our Kwanzaa celebration. Tonight, we are speaking about unity. And I have with us a firefighter from Miami-Dade County Rescue and Sergeant at Arms for the Progressive Firefighters Association. Let's welcome Carlton Hunter. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for having me. I'm doing well. How are you today? It's so wonderful to have you here. I've been so anticipating um, meeting you and learning more about what's happening with the Progressive Firefighters Association. And so tell us a little bit about um, what you all do, uh, who you are, and um, just let us know what your mission is. The Progressive Firefighter Association Charities <clears throat> was established in 1978 mm -hmm. by Charles Phillips and uh, Brother David James. It's a fraternal organization, the 501c3, uh, mostly comprised of uniform firefighters in Miami-Dade, but we also have some non-uniform firefighters. Okay. Our, our membership extends not only um, for firefighters in Miami-Dade, but we have members in um, BSO Fire, we have members in Hialeah Fire Department, as well as other um, city of Miami, and some other, you know, municipalities. The Progressive Firefighter Association <clears throat> um, came about with, again, from Brother Phillips and Brother James okay. because of the blatant discriminatory practices that was oh, happening okay. in Miami-Dade mm -hmm. as far as hiring, the retention process, and some of the other things that 
we could just imagine that goes on at the earlier times um, in history when um, brothers and sisters were getting on the fire department. Um, they filed um, in a brave manner, you know, risking their jobs, of course, okay. filed a lawsuit against Miami-Dade and won so that we can have um, fair access to the job, to promotions, et cetera, et cetera. So the organization does a lot, not only for members of fire of Miami Day Fire Rescue, the other uh, organizations, BSO, highly our members there, but we do a lot for the community as well. We we do things in the community like um, swim programs for the children. We notice that minority children in Miami Day County were dying disproportionately uh, because of drownings, because we don't have access to pools, being taught how to swim, mm -hmm. but we know the alluring effect of water right. in children, right. and they don't know the inherent dangers, or if they don't have the skill set in order to save themselves, they're usually a casualty of their curiosity. Mm -hmm. So we put together a swim program that's been very successful. We've had 400 plus kids that come through the program, learn how to swim. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm, trying, I'm gonna try to get you a copy of the footage from our swim program is it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. And um, we wanted to do that for our community, uh, for minority children, because we were dying so disproportionately um, here in Miami-Dade County. We have during uh, Thanksgiving turkey drives where we give out food, and we just had that as well. Um, despite COVID, mm -hmm. we still did our uh, mask, gloves, social right. distancing, pop the trunk. Oh. No, 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 not this, this is this is not the swim program, oh, but but the other community just programs. The other mm -hmm. community programs, like the turkey drive. During mm -hmm. Christmas, we usually give out toys to underprivileged children. Um, we have a back to school drive where we give out book bags. Um, we have we give out book bags, haircuts to elementary school young men manicures for the young ladies. Oh, wow. um, we have a program that we implemented for our elderly with smoke detectors. We've given out and installed hundreds of smoke detectors uh, because typically with people in our community, we either don't have a smoke detector or if we do, it's usually not operable. Okay. It's not working. So you're so saying we, in the household? In the households, okay. right, right. Because um, Something as simple as a, a smoke detector could be the dis difference between, life you know, and life and death. Mm -hmm. um, so much that we do. Uh, the Progressive Firefighter Association is a part of a international association of black professional firefighters. Okay. Well, we have members all across the continental U.S., from California to New York, down to Florida. We have members in the Caribbean as well. And as far as London. So how long have you been with the fire department? I've been with the fire department now for 16 years. I am currently a firefighter slash paramedic. Oh, paramedic. Yes, okay. Tell us a little bit more about the experience with the paramedic. Um, paramedics. It's, I guess because I do it every day, it's nothing spectacular to me. But what a paramedic usually does is we're responsible, if needed, we're responsible for the uh, life pack, which is the EKG machine mm -hmm. that gives the reading of the heart for a person that may be feeling ill. We do IVs. We can intubate mm -hmm. patients. We can crike. That's if a patient is in a severe respiratory um, predicament. Mm -hmm. well, we have the ability to crike that patient okay. to give them a better chance at living. Uh, we administer certain drugs. Okay. Um, there are some other procedures that we are able to do as well that requires a phone call to the higher ups to say, well, hey, um, you know, this patient is in need of this particular procedure. Um, do we have your permission to do so? Okay. So we, as firefighter paramedics, we are the go-between between that person in the community who's experiencing that um, emergency, and the, the super professionals at the hospital, yeah. AKA doctors, nurses, 
uh, physical therapists, rep respiratory therapists, ex et cetera. So what we do is basically we stabilize that person to give them a fighting, a fighting chance, a chance at life to get them to the hospital where they can do um, more, I guess, drastic, more Measures. advanced procedures mm -hmm. um, than we can in the field. Okay. So that's the life of a firefighter paramedic, All right. pretty much. Well, you know, I want to thank you so much for joining me for our day one of our Kwanzaa celebration. And uh, we'll be on the lookout for the Progressive Firefighters Association and what you all are doing more to unify uh, efforts um, in the community through the organization and its philanthropy efforts. Thank you so much for being with us. Happy Kwanzaa to you and your family. You're welcome. Thank you as well. Thank you for having me. We'll be back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Seeking more education and information? Head on over to the Henderson Financial Group Facebook page for a full hour of the American Cream each and every Saturday morning at 9.15. And on Wednesdays at noon, join Hyacinth and Robert Henderson for their web series, Transition, Transition, where they share their personal journeys on life, lessons, and legacy. Legacy. Check out the Henderson Financial Group for a full lineup of free educational shows.
in an award-winning outfit from celebrity clothing designer Shannon St. Clair. Whether you're shopping for men or women's clothing, you'll find sizes from small to 3X. Also, shop her handcrafted jewelry, hats, handbags, and Greek paraphernalia. With over 100 celebrities wearing her designs and accessories, you'll be sure to find what you need at Shannon St. Clair Boutique. Call for your appointment today at 954-812-8088 or shop the boutique online at ShannonStClair.com. Join us tomorrow for my next episode of our Kwanzaa Celebration Series. If you enjoyed the show, I ask that you like and subscribe to my channel. You'll get all the latest updates on my new docu-series entitled Soul Moments, which is an intimate look into my musical journey. I'm Rochelle Lightfoot, and I thank you for watching.